Father, you in there as the star, the headliner. Marquand, mm-hmm. you in there as the roadie. Yeah. Those experiences are two different experiences. Well, he didn't tell you I became a hype man after that. See, oh, I, oh, yeah, yeah. That I, I worked my way up. Yeah, I you worked, worked my way up. Okay, so then I need to go to Marquand. See, then, Puff, you... Puffy actually taught me how to hype the crowd. Of a big shout out to at him. At the Apollo. At the Apollo. At the Apollo. And then he came on the bus. Give me that you know? story, man. So you know, <laughs> yeah. Yo, oh my God. Yo, listen, listen. I was, <laughs> I was so frustrated, bro. Um, carrying these twelve hundred coffins. First one off the bus. Last one on, yeah, you know, and um, Puff saw something in me where he was like, "Yo, I love his energy, and the females like him as well too." Yeah. And he just taught me how to to hype a crowd up and motivate the crowd and 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 and, and the audience. Yeah. But my my favorite memory of doing a show at the Apollo was after the show with the Andre limo. Harrell, the limo. Andre Harrell and Russell Simmons said, "Me and your brother, me, you, your brother, and Russell, we going to the China Club." Mm. Yeah. We went to the China Club. He said, I don't want nobody else yeah. but you and your brother. All those extra niggas, they could stay over here. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So I feel them. I had, I had such an experience, man, just just being able to um, to hang out with Russell and Andre yeah. and just pick their brains. Because they're another generation of hip-hop that came behind my brother. Yeah. Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde. Mr. Hyde, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Russell, came before me. Russell Simmons, yeah. you know. Talking talk about how he smoked his dust and all that other stuff before he started. There. He was a he was a he was an old school New Yorker cat. Exactly. You know the Basquiat's and yeah, all those other yeah. cats. You know what I'm saying? So um, that was a great experience at the Apollo. Man, to actually perform at the Apollo and tear that shit down. Tear it down. I just ain't like I was wearing this Buck Rogers outfit. You know the yeah. shoulder pads is like this big. <laughs> I was like this, but it was a great. Yeah, it was a great. It was a great. You know, a great uh, show. Okay, being around those business minds, though, we're talking about Diddy, Russell, Andre. What kind of game did y'all pick up from them specifically that you were like, hey, man, how the hell do you do this or what the hell is going on? Where's your mind at? You have to you you have to do so much. It's always business. One thing Dre and Russell taught me and, and, and Puff, Yeah. Um, don't do the regular stuff. Don't be yeah. the regular individual. Don't do it. If you see somebody doing something that way, do your own thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Always try to do something different because they're going to keep doing it. Everybody does the exact same thing. Mm-hmm. Like, let's say if you make a record, you shoot a video, mm-hmm. and then you, it, it, it's, you're doing the same thing that everyone else is doing. So you got to try to figure out. You can't reinvent the wheel. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So yeah. you got to try to really figure out. And when before the podcast came up, I was talking to my brother because I know major people that do podcasts. Yeah. It's like, what are we doing different, brother? That's first of all. What are we doing? How are we going to do I know for the fact the, the people to get the stars and the entertainers to come, that's the easy part for us. Yeah. That's just the phone call. I exactly. We could have been taping last night yeah. and, and had stuff done. That's the easy part. Yeah. Our thing is, we, I know it's going to turn, it's going to go one way. We can sit here and tell you it's going to go this way. We already know it's going to go left. As <laughs> yeah. soon as the camera is going to go, gonna bring it's going to go left. Because he's going to crack a joke and then it's going to be a snap session. Mm-hmm. And then it could be some next thing you know yeah. we're crying about somebody's mother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, that's, I mean? but, that's, but that's conversation, right? Right. Yeah, that's, yeah. Like, that's like a thing. Right. That's like a... All your family flying in for Thanksgiving, right? That's right. And we all sitting at the table about to watch a football game, uncle drinking Hennessy, yeah. mother making the collard greens and the turnips and everything like that. That's This is a family conversation, yeah. you know? Um, big shout out to Nori, but I don't have to have a bunch of alcohol to get yeah. things out of people. Yeah. No no disrespect. I love what yeah. he's doing. He has his own lane. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? This is about our experiences and how, exper- how your experiences can validate and how we can meet you know, you may want, you may have something you might want to get off your mind. This is a this is a podcast that can make you laugh, make you cry, even maybe motivate you. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Because you got motivations, you got testimonies right here. Facts. My brother was working at Kentucky Fried Chicken. They used to call him the Chicken Man. My God. You feel what I'm saying? To look where he's at right now. I was I was in every type of juvenile. I ain't facility. never hear. I, I, ain't, I ain't gonna. I ain't never hear nobody call me a chick. Yeah, they call. They call. They call, call me a nobody chicken man. man. I ain't never hear no nigga. Call, I, yeah, I'm going with him, nigga. I'm, I'm trying to go with this nigga, but then he said the chicken man. I ain't never hear that chicken man shit. Yo, nigga. I got Beyonce. My God. My God. My God. My God. <laughs> this nigga. This nigga. Y'all just play with you. Yo, yeah. you chicken man. Yo, you yeah, yeah, got a straight face. I'm like, yeah, they call me. Yeah, he's saying it all serious and shit. Like, I'm like. 
I'm, I'm going like this. That's acting one on one. I want to yeah, see the film. I want to see my man. face when I rewind that shit back. Yeah. I'm going to need the yo, chicken I like, man. Yo, yo, I'm going to let go for two yo, yo, seconds. Big bro, big bro. That's acting one on one. I'm like, yeah, they call him the chicken man. Yeah, I'm just saying, yo. and I'm going like this. It's like when the nigga saying, like, this nigga will do anything for you. He'll yeah. die for you. The nigga, look, man. <laughs> you know, what the fuck is wrong with this nigga? He's a chicken man. <laughs>